So mm -hmm. uh, maybe put on the boots if you don't have that hovercraft today. We've got uh, some ponding of water down across our southern counties as we've seen that heavy rain impacting a Warren County, Clinton County, Green counties. We've got some flooding concerns down that way as uh, we do expect to see some standing water on those low lying spots. Otherwise, we've got a steady rain in Xenia extending back towards Beaver Creek now across 675 in Dayton, New Lebanon, Germantown, back towards Gratis and Eaton. Everyone dealing with the wet conditions south of 70. And you can see that flooding. We've got the flood advisory now in effect for Warren County, Southern Green County, and Clinton County. This is in effect until 10 15 this morning. Again, for those poorly drained or low lying areas where we're going to have that water standing. And we just remind you turn around, don't drown because you never really know how deep the water is or if the road beneath that water has been damaged or washed away. Here's a look at our satellite radar loop. Again, along and south of 70 is where the rain has been impacting the morning commute. North, we've got the clouds in place, but dry conditions up that way. And there is also some fog that has developed, so visibility is going to be low, especially in our central and northern counties this morning if you're out traveling around. If it's not the rain slowing you down, it may be the fog. Later this afternoon, we also have the threat of more thunderstorms, and that's when we could see some stronger storms with damaging winds and even larger size hail and the flooding concern will continue this afternoon as we've just got a lot of moisture in the air to work with. Around lunchtime we do expect a lull in the rain so a break where we get some dry weather in if you're heading out to the pools will be near 78 it's going to be very humid but then watch for those redeveloping thunderstorms later this afternoon. You don't want to be caught out in any of that. 83 at 4 o'clock. It's 72 now. West-southwest wind at 8. Dew point is sitting right at 70 degrees. It is sticky with those high dew points. And visibility is low with fog at 3 tenths of a mile at the Dayton Airport. So low visibility here in Dayton. Down towards Wilmington, it's dropped to a mile. Cincinnati is 3 miles. And you're going to run into some fluctuations throughout the Miami Valley. So you might come upon some of that low visibility rather quickly. It's 69 in Sydney and Piqua with some fog in place, 72 in Urbana, Tremont City right at 71. You can see the juicy air here with those high dew points, upper 60s, low 70s across much of the Midwest. Now to the north, we have some lower dew points in the 50s. That is some much more comfortable air, which will work our way for tonight and really through the rest of this week as the changes roll our way behind a cold front. We're warm, we're humid ahead of the boundary, but as that pushes in, we're going to get this relief working in less humid and cooler weather for the rest of the week. Now, future track shows more showers, thunderstorms developing after 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Here's the drive home at 5. Some heavier downpours will be possible. And that rain chance will continue through the first part of the overnight. Still some rain around at 10, 11 o'clock. But we get towards tomorrow morning and we dry out again. So 7 a.m., the morning drive looks dry. And we will stay that way with partly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon. It's just going to feel a lot cooler. Today, 83 and humid with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then tonight, we'll see showers and thunderstorms taper off. We'll turn less humid and drop to 57. A lot cooler tomorrow, a high of 72. Partly sunny skies with a northwest wind. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Wednesday couldn't rule out a spotty shower or two. Otherwise, continued cool, really below normal temperatures through the end of the week. And it's not until the weekend we'll climb back into the 80s.